All right, so I'm going to go over how to install the grabbable prop prefab onto your avatar. This is the version that doesn't have rotation and doesn't require a final IK. If you want the one that does require or does have rotation with the prop, then refer to the avatar prop uh, package on my also on my GitHub. Um, so once you have the package installed in the avatar is Product Manager, go navigate to that FatKid stuff folder. Uh, find the oh no, I don't have it. Okay, let me. Uh, here we go. Import it. There we go. So once you have them imported, uh, find a garbled prop folder. Uh, look for this little cube picture here. I love cubes. Cubes are great. Uh, take the prefab, drag it onto your avatar. Right click, press unpack prefab. Drag it on top of your avatar. Open it up by clicking the left triangle to the left of it. The triangle to the left of it. Take the reset point game object and drag it above the grabbable prop um, so that you see this blue bar. Don't drag it too high, otherwise you won't see the blue bar. Don't drag it too low, because then you'll see the blue bar, but you want the blue bar to be above the grabbable prop. Uh, once that's done, uh, then I open up the VR Labs Avatar 3.0 Manager. Drag your avatar in an empty slot. Open up the Effects tab. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And press Add Animate to Merge. Take the provided effects controller, drag onto the none tab, press merge on current. Uh, notice this uh, grabble prop slash toggle parameter. Make sure there's a check mark to the right of it in the box because that's the parameter you're going to be toggling to turn off uh, your prop uh, on and off. Uh, then we're in this WD picture here for defaults. I'm going to scroll, click it, and then scroll to the top and set WD off or on depending on how your animator is set up. Uh, so if you don't know how to do that, you click on the animator tab. Uh, if you don't have this tab, you go to window, animation, animator. Click it and open it. Click on any of the layers here except for the very top one. And then these empty, any of these like boxes here, you click it. And then the inspector on the right here, pay attention to right here where it says right defaults. If there's a check mark or not here. If there is not a check mark, you press set WD off. If there is a check mark, you press set WD on. Uh, get rid of that. And that's pretty much it. Uh, to replace the object, uh, this cube here, all you have to do is uh, just put whatever object you want in there. Yeah, that's it.